Swadesh List The Swadesh List Swadesh is pronounced as a classic compilation of tentatively universal concepts for the purposes of lexicostatistics. Translations of the Swadesh List into a set of languages allow researchers to quantify the interrelatedness of those languages. The Swadesh List is named after linguist Morris Swadesh. It is used in lexicostatistics, the quantitative assessment of the genealogical relatedness of languages, and glottochronology, the dating of language divergence. Because there are several different lists, some authors also refer to Swadesh lists. Versions and authors Morris Swadesh himself created several versions of his list. He started with a list of 215 meanings falsely introduced as a list of 225 meanings in the paper due to a spelling error, which he reduced to 165 words for the Salish folk and Kalispell language. In 1952, he published a list of 215 meanings of which he suggested the removal of 16 for being unclear or not universal, with one added to arrive at 200 words. In 1955, he wrote, The only solution appears to be a drastic weeding out of the list in the realization that quality is at least as important as quantity. Even the new list has defects, but they are relatively mild and few in number. After minor corrections, the final 100-word list was published posthumously in 1971 and 1972. Other versions of lexicostatistical test lists were published, e.g., by Robert Lee's 1953, John A. Rea 1958, 145 of, Delheim's 1966, B. Cross 1964, with 241 concepts, W. J. Samarin 1967, 220 of, D. Will Wang 1994, M. Lower 2000, 128 meanings in 18 languages, B. Kessler 2002, and many others. The Concepticon, a project hosted at the Cross Linguistic Linked Data CLLD project, collects various concept lists, including classical Swadesh lists across different linguistic areas and times, currently listing 240 different concept lists. Frequently used and widely available on the Internet, is the version by Isidore Dine 1992, 200 meanings of 95 language variants. Since 2010, a team around Michael Dunn has tried to update and enhance that list. Principle In origin, the words in the Swadesh lists were chosen for their universal, culturally independent availability in as many languages as possible, regardless of their stability. Nevertheless, the stability of the resulting list of universal vocabulary under language change and the potential use of this fact for purposes of glottochronology have been analyzed by numerous authors, including Marissa Lower 1999. The Swadesh list was put together by Maurice Swadesh on the basis of his intuition. Similar more recent lists, such as the Daldopolsky list 1964 or the Leipzig Jakarta list 2009, are based on systematic data from many different languages, but they are not yet as widely known nor as widely used as the Swadesh list. Usage in lexicostatistics and glottochronology Lexicostatistical test lists are used in lexicostatistics to define subgroupings of languages and in glottochronology to provide dates for branching points in the tree. The task of defining and counting the number of cognate words in the list is far from trivial, and often is subject to dispute, because cognates do not necessarily look similar, and recognition of cognates presupposes knowledge of the sound laws of the respective languages. For example, English wheel and Sanskrit chakra are cognates, although they are not recognizable as such without knowledge of the history of both languages. Swadesh 100 Original Final List Swadesh's final list published in 1971 contains 100 terms. Explanations of the terms can be found in Swadesh 1952 or, where noted by a dagger plus, in Swadesh 1955. Note that only this original sequence clarifies the correct meaning which is lost in an alphabetical order, e.g. in the case 27. Bark originally without the specification here added. Claw was only added in 1955 
but again replaced by many well-known specialists with fingernail, because expressions for claw are not available in many old, extinct, or lesser-known languages. The 110-item Global Lexico Statistical Database list uses the original 100-item Swadesh list, in addition to 10 other words from the Swadesh Yakintav list. Swadesh 207 list The most used list nowadays is the Swadesh 207 word list, adapted from Swadesh 1952. In Wiktionary Swadesh lists by language, Panlex and in Palestos Swadesh word list of Indo-European languages, hundreds of Swadesh lists in this form can be found. Shorter lists the Swadesh Yakintav list is a 35-word subset of the Swadesh list posited as especially stable by Russian linguist Sergei Yakintov around the 1960s, although the list was only officially published in 1991. It has been used in lexicostatistics by linguists such as Sergei Staristin. With their Swadesh numbers, they are, or they are, Holman et al., 2008 found that in identifying the relationships between Chinese dialects, the Swadesh Yakintav list was less accurate than the original Swadesh Minus 100 list. Further, they found that a different 40 word list, also known as the Asht list, was just as accurate as the Swadesh Minus 100 list. However, they calculated the relative stability of the words by comparing retentions between languages in established language families. They found no statistically significant difference in the correlations of the families of the old versus the new world. The ranked Swadesh Minus 100 list, with Swadesh numbers and relative stability, is as follows Holman et al. Appendix. Asterisk words appear on the 40 word list. Sign languages. In studying the sign languages of Vietnam and Thailand, linguist James Woodward noted, that the traditional Swadesh list applied to spoken languages was unsuited for sign languages. The Swadesh list results in overestimation of the relationships between sign languages due to indexical signs such as pronouns and parts of the body. The modified list is as follows. In largely alphabetical order, 